world's deadly rivers that will swallow your ships. Large rivers are gifts of nature to humans. However, not all rivers are safe and peaceful. Sometimes they are very violent and take everything that has been given to people. In the world, there are many extremely dangerous rivers because of the fast flow, depth as well as the presence of water monsters in the river, which can easily take the lives of those passing through here. No matter how much science and technology develops, we humans are always small in front of Mother Nature, in front of majestic rivers. Let's see which rivers are those. 1. Yangtze River The Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia and the third largest in the world after the Nile in Africa and the Amazon River in South America. The Yangtze River is about 6,385 kilometers long, originates in the west of China and flows to the east into the East China Sea. The Yangtze River is inhabited by a variety of species of animals, such as Chinese crocodiles, Chinese paddlefish, and dolphins. For centuries, the Yangtze River has been the main route in transportation, known as the Golden Waterway. Part of the river is very dangerous because the rock and the water level fluctuates. Today, the Yangtze River is a busy river with activities contributing to the economy of many neighboring cities and villages, including the five largest cities in China, such as the ancient capital Nanjing. 2. Parana River The Parana River, together with its tributaries, form a large basin that occupies most of the central southern part of the South American continent, encompassing all of Paraguay, parts of southern Brazil, northern Argentina, and including a part of the territory of Bolivia. If the Uruguay River were counted as a tributary Parana, the basin would include Uruguay. The volume of flow that flows into the Atlantic Ocean through the Rio de Plata is roughly equal to the Mississippi Delta. On the river basin, there are several large cities such as Sao Paulo, Buenos Aires, Asuncion, and Brasilia. Aquatic resources on Parana and its tributaries are the main source of income for fishermen along the banks. Some special fish species are important for domestic or export purposes. Much of the length Parana is suitable for navigation is an important waterway connected the inner inland cities of Argentina and Paraguay with the ocean. The city along its banks with deep water ports. 3. Congo River the Congo River in Africa is the deepest river in the world with a length of nearly 4,800 kilometers and the deepest part of the river can reach 228 meters. Because it is located in the Rain Belt region of Africa, this is the second most watery river in the world, only after the Amazon River. Every second, more than 35,000 millisquares of water pours into the Atlantic Ocean, equivalent to the water volume of more than 13 Olympic standard swimming pools. This is a river with the largest hydroelectric potential in Africa. During the rainy season, it transports more than 50,000 cubic meters of water per second into the Atlantic Ocean. The Congo River was known as the Zaire River from 1971 to 1997, later named after the Republic of Congo in Central Africa. The river is so deep that there are no exact measurements. This is a river with the largest hydroelectric potential in Africa. Scientists calculate that the entire Congo Basin accounts for 30% of the world's hydroelectric potential. This potential could provide enough electricity for all the sub-Saharan regions. 4. Amazon River The Amazon River was discovered in 1542 by Francisco de Orellana, originally named Rio Mar. The Amazon is one of the longest rivers in the world. Not only that, in terms of river flow, there is no other river that can compete. Amazon has the largest watershed in the world with more than 1,000 tributaries woven into a dense network of rivers, including more than 17 tributaries with a length of 1,500 kilometers. The Amazon Basin covers about 40% of the total land area of mainland South America, twice the size of the Congo Basin in Africa. The Amazon River accounts for about 20% of the total fresh water supply to the oceans. The, weir the widest part of the river in the dry season is about 11 kilometers. During the rainy season, the widest part of the river can be up to 40 kilometers and the estuary area can be as wide as 325 kilometers. Due to the width of such rivers, people are also called sea rivers. The special thing is that the animals living here are also huge in size, such as catfish weighing up to nearly 100 kg through head, aggressive sharks, and especially the giant snake anaconda, the largest snake man has ever seen. 5. Orinoco River The Orinoco River used to have many different names until the arrival of the Spaniards in the 16th century. In 1531, the name Orinco was recorded and in 1591 became the official name of the river. It is a combination of the words Orino, meaning clay, and Co, meaning water. Orinoco meaning river of clay. At 1330 miles, the Orinoco is one of the longest rivers in South America. It flows through both Colombia and Venezuela, both sides of which are covered with dense and extremely lush rainforests. What makes this river dangerous is that it has some rapids that fall at a rate that are difficult to navigate. Another threat to the people living on Orinoco's borders is widespread flooding that occurs throughout the year. More than 200 rivers are tributaries of the mighty Orinoco, extending 1290 miles from source. 6. The Mekong River The Mekong River is one of the largest rivers in the world. 
originating from Qinghai Province, Tibetan Plateau flowing through Yunnan, China, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos and empties into the East Sea and Vietnam. It ranks 12th by length and 10th in terms of water flow in the world. The average discharge is 13,200 meters per second. In the flood season, it can be up to 30,000. It's based in about 795,000 kilometers squared or more than 810,000 kilometers squared. It has one of the most diverse ecosystems in the world with a number of rare animals such as soft-shelled turtles, saltwater crocodiles, and large freshwater dolphins. The Mekong is one of the important transport and freight shipping routes in the region. 7. Yensei River The Yensei River is one of the largest river systems that empties into the Arctic Ocean, with a length of 4,539 kilometers, making it the fifth longest river in the world. This river system has a smaller catchment area and shorter than Mississippi-Missouri system in the United States, but an average discharge is 1.5 times higher. Originating in Mongolia, it flows north to the empty in Sakara Sea, irrigating large parts of central Siberia, the longest being the Ensei Angara Selenga Eater. Upstream with many rapids, the river flows through sparsely populated areas. In the middle, this river system is controlled by a series of large Russian hydroelectric dams. Flowing through sparsely populated taiga forests, the Ensei receives water from a series of tributaries and eventually empties into the Kara Sea in a wild tundra, frozen for more than six months each year. 8. Mississippi River The Mississippi River is the main river of the second largest drainage system on the North American continent, second only to the Hudson Bay drainage system. It is entirely within the United States. Its origin is Lake Itasca in northern Minnesota and it flows generally south for 2,320 miles to the Mekong Delta Mississippi in the Gulf of Mexico. With its many tributaries, the Mississippi River Basin drains all or part of 31 U.S. states and two Canadian provinces between the Rocky Mountains and the Appalachian Mountains. The Mississippi ranks as 15th largest rivers in the world by discharge. The aquatic species here are very rich, but the diverse flow stratification of this river is really a great danger and threat. There are parts of the river that are almost very calm, but just a few miles later, sailors could face the risk of capsizing at any moment. 9. Potomac River The Potomac River is a river in the eastern United States that empties into the Chesapeake Bay and reaches the Atlantic Ocean. The river is about 665 kilometers long, covering a base of about 14,700 square miles. In terms of area, the Potomac River is the 21st largest river in the United States. Particularly in the east, this is the fourth largest river. More than 5 million people live in the river basin. The Potomac River originates in two tributaries, the North Branch and the South Branch, which originates in northeastern West Virginia and merges below the town of Cumberland, Maryland. From this point, the river flows southeast before emptying into the Chesapeake Bay. Other tributaries are the Shenandoah River from the southwest and the Mordecai River from the north. The Great Falls on the Potomac River is a stretch of river with a relative slope of approximately 80 feet. Here, the riverbed is full of jagged monolithic rocks, dividing the flow and creating a waterfall that looks fierce, but suitable for adventurous sailors. 10. Rio Tinto River Mother Nature has left people with many unique wonders. In Melbourne, there was once a lake that suddenly turned pink. Antarctica's ice turned green. Then in Andalusia, southwest of Spain, there is a Rio Tinto River with blood red. The whole river is dyed dark red. The jagged stones are also red over time. This is the result of mining activities lasting five years. 500 years! The Rio Tinto River, which stretches for 100 kilometers along the length of Spain, is one of the most dangerous rivers in the world. This river contains many daily dangers. The researchers said that in the Rio Tinto River area, there are sulfide ores which has chemical comp composition is acidic, and the content of heavy metals and iron is extremely high, causing the water to turn red. There are three main heavy metals found in this river, iron, copper, and zinc. The concentration of heavy metals in the water has seasonal changes. The highest concentration is from June to September. With high acidity, the environment of the Rio Tinto River is so harsh that no fish or shrimp can live. Perhaps there are just a few forms such as bacteria, well-adapted algae. The presence of these species is also partly responsible for increasing the pH, increasing the concentration of heavy metals in the river. The unique chemical composition of the water makes this river an inhospitable environment for life. The only visitors to this Mars River are scientists who love to learn about bacteria. So this place is extremely dangerous for humans. All life forms are completely extinct in the water. Therefore, when coming here, visitors should only watch. Since ancient times, we humans have developed ancient civilizations next to great rivers. But through the above, though through the above article, we can see that sometimes they are also extremely ferocious and violent, which can bring many dangers to ships passing through here. Be careful when passing them. Which river do you think is the most dangerous? Let us know.